Listen here, you little bitch. The bull market is still on. How do I know that? Because the bull market ending has nothing to do with sellers. In the history of markets, stonks, commodities, doesn't matter what it is, the bull market does not end when a seller comes in. All right? The bull market ends when you run out of buyers. It's completely different mind frame. By the way, it's the same thing for a bear market. The bear market doesn't end when some big guy comes to buy up all the coins. No. The bear market ends when you finally run out of sellers. Okay? So, we are in a bull market now. Are there buyers lurking? I think there are. You want to know how I know there are? It's because everybody's nervous. A bull market is where you're climbing the wall of worry. At the top, we will kill the final bear. Once we have slain that final bear, the bear market starts. Because all the potential buyers of the crypto are now in. Right now, they're on the sidelines. They're bitches. They want to see things go higher. They want to see us conquer Germany. They want to see Mount Gox do all these things. They want to see the money printing. They want to see all these things to finally get them over the edge. And once they've finally seen all of that, they rush in with their friends and they're probably just blowing the roof out of all our coins. And then if you ask them, oh my gosh, are you worried, friend? Are you worried that you are now paying 300x higher in prices two years later after we told you to buy? And they'll go, no, just getting started. Look at all these buyers around me. Remember, it's a ratio. Okay, it's a ratio of the believers to the non-believers. All of us in crypto now, believers. But eventually, the non-believers are in here. Coinbase App Store ranking will be number one, or at least top 10. Ty Lopez comes back. Okay, there will be signs to show us that, you know what? There are just way too many people who don't believe anymore. They will also appear in Twitter replies, in YouTube sections. They will be entitled. You want proof? Go back to 2021 and go watch Ivan on Tech's videos and go to the comment section in January, February, March in his final three weeks of making videos, okay? When he started to suggest that, hey, guys, we have now made it. It's time to get out. When he started to suggest that, the crowd roared back and they said, you're evil. You've retired. You got all the insider allocations. You've made your millions of dollars. You don't want us to retire. You are jealous. You don't want us to win like you. Okay. That's exactly what they were saying. They were entitled. And you look at like, bro, who the hell are you? I was here in the zombie virus. I was here when crypto was literally a nuclear winter scam. You guys just came in. Why? Because it's all over TV. All right. Now, I want you. You're going to have. You were that person, by the way, in 2021. Most people watching my channel. Okay. However, you have now paid your dues. Okay. Now, you're going to watch new people come in now. And you're going to tell them, hey, when they called for negative Bitcoin prices in 2022, where the hell were you? Uh, when USDC depegged, where the hell were you? Uh, when corrupt chairman Gary Gensler said we're all securities in June of 2023, where were you buying? Where were you? What about right now? When our friends over there in Germany and all the German ladies were taking a big fat dump on our faces, right? Where were you? Were you buying? No. What about Mount Gox dumping and scaring all the altcoiners? They're not buying. Okay, so these are all climbing that wall of worry. But obviously, oh, we're having fun. It's entertainment because in that state of euphoria, you won't even have a chance to have a conversation that goes that way with somebody who enters there. They won't even take it seriously. They'll literally think they've made it and they're on their way to making it. 
So what will happen, friends, is... So you think they're going to come in and they're going to throw in like 800 bucks and they're going to like watch it not work out for three months and then they're going to leave. Yeah, that's 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 rational mindset thinking. No, no, no. That doesn't happen at the tops. What actually happens at the top is... See that guy's 800 bucks? He throws 800 bucks, right? Then he hears his friends put in 20 grand, right? And his friend is up a 3x. So what this guy does is... He goes, wait a minute, okay... He put in 20 grand. He's now got 60K. Okay. So now this friend, this guy is like, wait a minute. I am now $60,000 less than that guy. So what I've got to do is I've got to put in 40,000 and get out on a plus 50% gain. Let me quickly borrow money, put in 40 grand. And when this thing I'm in goes up plus 50%, I'm out. And then I am square with that other dude out there, which is their friend and family. Okay. That type of mania that that's what's happening at the top okay and it's literally a full pvp between the retailers some of them are gonna win unfortunately yes 19 out of 20 they're not gonna win but in that mania friends those are the people who are coming in remember their, their clip size used to be 800 bucks they won't put in more than a thousand dollars in this time period okay but in that mania when all the other retailers are winning and there's this old season mania going on and they're thinking this is their path of success they will start to increase their clip size like you wouldn't believe. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50K. Borrowed money, leverage, all of it, throw it in. Because they have no intention of holding it for a long time. And then, of course, you're going to see that first, <laughs> when you finally run out, that first 50% drop. However, it'll be just like this one. Okay? there will be a problem, though. When we finally get to the end, see, right now, we don't have a lot of non-believers in, okay? These bitches have kicked out already. A lot of us are believers. Like, if we go down further, you'll be upset, but you're not going to say, oh, well, you know, I waited all this time. I've got to get out now. See what I mean? But at some point, though, there will be too many non-believers in. And when they're in, by the way, the prices are higher. That's how you know they're in. They're pricing themselves being in, okay? And then that first 50% jitter will come. The problem, though, is, like I said, the bull market, when's it end, friends? When you run out of buyers. When we have a lot of non-believers in, you and I have to look around and go, okay, wait a minute. If all the non-believers are mostly in right now, who the F is going to buy the dip for us? Okay, that's what's going to happen. And trust me, no one's even going to be taking that type of skepticism seriously. Because they're going to say, Argentina's in. Nigeria's in. All these other South American countries in. Everyone's going to be buying. No, 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 no. They already bought. They've already bought. Okay? So that's why you always got to look around to your left and right. Who are we long with? And right now, we've got some strong hands. Of course. We haven't even moved. The real test isn't here yet. The real test is when these people you've never seen before, they're going to rush in. The newspapers, TV, all the media websites, the US Fed notes, every piece of information around them is going to be basically daring them not to get long, not to be long. The macro will be the best. The jobs will be the best. The liquidity will be the best. Everything will be on the up. AI is changing the world. Whatever it is, the stories will be 100% super positive. It'll be the polar opposite of Q4 2022. In Q4 2022, friends, there was no reason to get long. Just 30 bad reasons. Rates are going up. There's going to be a recession. Everything's going to zero. There is no use case. All these things, bang, 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 bang. And I remember making tweets, literally was telling everyone, guys, look, sure, we can go to zero. But in my experience, in my humble peanut brain, when all these poor people who don't know what they're doing in markets are now emphatically telling me that there is no reason to get long. While I see prices down, okay, I think there's something wrong with that picture. So I think the fact that people can't find one reason to get 
long, I think that's every reason to get long. Okay, now that that was the bottom of the bear. When there was just so much bad news, so many reasons not to be in the market. Okay, okay, so many reasons not to be in. Sweet. Who's saying it? Oh, the poor people. You mean the poor people don't know what they're doing? Okay, get in. All right. So, but it's going to be tough, friends, because it's going to be so tough. When that euphoria is finally here, it's going to, we have to flip it. Because everyone's going to say, look at these thousands of reasons to be long. It's going to be tough. Donald Trump, maybe he's president. He's cutting taxes. He's going to make a crypto city. They're just gonna, friends, they're going to throw all these words out. There's going to be a crypto city, the crypto, the new Silicon Valley. In oh, the US Fed might actually buy Bitcoin on the balance sheet. Wow. They're going to throw that stuff, friends. I'm telling you, there's going to be rumors of that stuff appearing at the top. And it's just going to look around. You're going to, you, every single mainstream YouTuber will be like, 15,000 reasons to hold crypto for the next three years. That's what they're going to be writing. They're going to be writing stuff like that. And then unfortunately, in the silence... And the shadows, we have to say, well, crap, man. There's no more worry anymore. Okay? A bull market, you're climbing the mountain. You're climbing the wall of worry. Okay? When you have no more worries, why? You've reached the top. You're standing firm. There's nothing to worry about. Which means all those people who didn't believe in you for the past two, three, four years, they finally got sucked in. He <sniffs> finally sucked them in. Each step along the way. And now, remember, there's no more buyers left. But you don't know that because everybody's in. Now you're just looking down. You're looking down and you're like, okay, crap. If we drop 50%, there's going to be that final sugar rush of dip buyers. But I don't trust them, man. I don't trust any of these people. So that's what you have to be looking at, friends. When you see Coinbase App Store ranking and all these other things, that's what you have to be looking at. You say, you know what? When the total crypto industry was $2 trillion like it is now, I trust his. I trust his, man. If it went down to $1 trillion, all right, we can get through it. But if we're not at $2 trillion anymore, friends, when we're at $5 trillion, maybe I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, there's like a 30% chance it's all over now. Okay, 30% isn't 100%. But still 30% chance, okay? But what about the total crypto market went to like 12 trillion? Okay? And you're like, you know, I don't trust any of you whatsoever. And that's the type of mindset you need, friends. And it happens so fast. Remember, it's just a 100-day period of things going parabolic, okay? So ultimately, you can only make it to this wonderful unicorn period, if we get it, if you believe. You hold spot and you say no deal. No deal. Of course, sometimes the price is going to appear to you, but it's not going to be high enough, right? Because people will realize they picked the wrong thing. I can't do anything about that. You can't either. But you have to protect yourself against that scenario because you've got to learn from 2021. There are coins like Litecoin, Monero, many other coins that they never had the 500x Doge rally, but they still got destroyed. When it was all over, okay? So you have to prepare for that now. 90% call, 10% lottery. You already know, friends. You already know meme coins. You already know everyone's excited for meme coins. Retail's a spear, man. I've told you thousands of times, okay? Old seasons happen, why? Because retail makes money. That's it, okay? Biggest myth. People think, oh, um, there's an old season that's going to happen because we made a new technology. No, dude. This season just proves it. It's got nothing to do with technology, dude. It's when retail makes money. That's it. That's an old season. The old season is retail makes money. Now, here's the thing. Yes, it's correlated to new tech. Why? Because if there's a new tech, there's a new field, and then retailers try it, and you don't have any of the scammers in that field who are extracting money straight away. So retail have a chance to make money because it catches all the scammers off guard because they don't know how to scam yet. Eventually, though, they do. But that first wave... That's pretty much what starts it, okay? So we just saw it in meme coins, right? Like, oh, I'm going to ask you right now. You already know this answer. It's funny. If you ask people, hey, uh, what do you think of meme coins? Most people say, oh, they're all useless, no cash flow, going to zero. Okay, sweet. I'm going to ask you the same question, though. What do you think retail have a chance of making a quick 20x on? What do you think about that? Which sectors are going to be in? Go on. 
Which sector do you think is going to be ingenious? DeFi? Alt layer ones? Bitcoin? Privacy coins? Payment solutions? Not even gaming. Because they all have VCs in them too. Metaverse, NFTs? I'm going down the list in my head. Nope. It's meme coins. I read it just so you read it. No. Okay. What sector is going to make retail a quick 20x? There's only one sector that can do it because it lets you get in early enough. That's it. So is that the path to how the bull market plays out? I don't know, of course, but it helps to know that, right? You and I know that. You and I know that, you know, because friends, retail don't come in and say, oh, I just want meme coins. They try everything, man. They try everything and they realize, wait a minute, this meme coin stuff moves up the most. Let me just keep hanging around there. That's what happens. And so when retail hanging around there, we are going to hang around there, but we have to front run them, all right? Because those people, they're not in yet. So when Bitcoin hits $100,000, friends, and people are making money and throwing around stuff, uh, do you think Monero is going to do a 40X? No chance. Do you think Litecoin, decentralization principles, do you think that's going to do like a 10, 20, 30, 40X fast? No. What do you think is most likely to happen? Do you think someone's <laughs> new fancy schmancy meme coin just starts rocketing up and they get some sort of like a supernova stratosphere exit that could start shilling on YouTube? Yeah, that, that seems more likely to me, personally, to me. Okay? But it's still no guarantee. You never know. Someone might make a new tech, open canvas, that changes the game up a bit. But for now, it's very obvious where we have to be thinking, what we have to be thinking about, Right, and it's got to do with those meme coins. Doesn't mean throw out the core coins. I'm just telling you. All right, I'm just telling you. Right, every single cycle, retail comes in, and they go somewhere, and everybody who was not in the retail thing gets very upset. Because what ends up happening is because retail only have a certain amount of energy, a certain amount of time, and a certain amount of money, and now we have so many sectors to choose from in crypto. You don't have like three sectors anymore. You've got like 150. So the stakes get higher pretty much because this old season doesn't run forever. So that's why the people who do win this jackpot, who can end up figuring it out right, they're the ones who are going to make out the most. And you have the biggest advantage because, you know, like, oh my gosh, who are these retailers just smashing these coins up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 X? You know they're high, okay? But, you know, a lot of your core coins, if you're only up 6 X from here, it's a 6 X. Right from today, you don't have to think that's high. But if you go back to 2021, you had to be selling. You literally had to be selling. Litecoin friends did like hundreds of X's at one point. And in 2021, its euphoria was only a 2X. That was its euphoria run, 2X. And then it dropped 80% with everything else. Same as XRP. What was the euphoria count for Doge? <clears throat> 500X. Wild, right? So ultimately, you're not going to get everything right, but now you understand this whole bull market, right? It's got to do when you run out of buyers. And there are some clues that will let us know when we finally run out of buyers. And yes, when they're worried, if there are people worried out there, that means there are people skeptical. That means there are people who have money to put in. That means you still have buyers. And the time to be worried is when they are so confident so euphoric, they're not even thinking about selling. Okay, that's the time to be worried. We are quite a while away from that. Make sure you like, subscribe, buddy, button, or catch you in the next one.